This is Nathan Cruz with Carlson Software, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate and show how to import Quarryman uh, point cloud data and compute uh, pile volumes from that, and then also how to bring in Quarryman DXF files and create uh, face surfaces from that data. So the first thing I'm going to do is, is load the point cloud. Under our, our choose point clouds, we have the, the, uh, a new option for the Quarryman FSC file. This is telling us the file name and the number of points that we're going to bring in. It is an international feed. I'll zoom in here and put this into contour and elevation. Uh, showing one foot contours. This will just help me identify the, the bottom, uh, the daylight line of this pile a little bit easier. And so now I'm just going to simply draw a polyline. Right around this daylight line using the contours as a guide. I can also turn on my elevation text, and that'll kind of give me an idea of the fact that I'm, uh, that I'm picking very similar elevations. And then C to close. So we'll roll up here a little bit and turn this off, and we can see 18.2, 18.9, 18.2. So we're right around the, the very bottom of this fellow. Now we'll just simply execute our new calculate volumes command. We'll select the point cloud, and then we'll select the polyline with the right mouse crossing. And here we, we get our, our report. The uh, fill area is 726 cubic feet. Now that data is also put out down here, where I can select it and copy it, including the name. So I'm going to copy that. Uh, you can see that we also created a volume surface. So if, if I highlight this surface, you can see that it has an approximate fill volume. Now this is a little bit different. It's a, a slightly different technique that's used, but it's within, in this case, it's within uh, two to four percent of any of the other calculations. Uh, it, this data is stored persistently in the scene file. So if you were to do more and more of these, uh, you would always uh, have this, this volume uh, property for this particular surface. And now I'm going to show you how to quickly produce a report. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a polyline across my longest and highest point. Right, so as we look at that, and I already have a, a template set up in, in, Word, in the Word document, and I'm going to paste in that text that I just did. So I already uh, gave it a, a name and a, and a date here in my little uh, uh, template. Now the next thing I'm going to do is select this polyline, and I'm going to generate a profile view, and I'm going to save that as an image file my volume reports, so we'll say pile one. X section. Actually, this is a profile. And I'm going to go ahead and close that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and erase that polyline. Then I'm going to select this polyline. I'm going to put us up into plan view. I'm going to zoom in here pretty good. And I'm going to do a save to image file. Again, back to my pictures and volumes reports. And that's going to be pile one. 
3D. And that's showing the image file. And then what I'm going to do is, is simply paste those into my report. So I'm going to put the profile in first. I'll scroll down a little bit here, press enter, and then I'm going to drop in our pile report. In the future, this will certainly uh, be a more automated process uh, with an automated PDF um, based on the current uh, Quarryman uh, PDF um, surface volume output. But this is what we can do today uh, with Precision 3D 2018 um, on its release day. And now I'll demonstrate creating a surface from a Quarryman DXF file. using our demo data set in the Quarryman scans. So in the previous uh, point cloud was located in the same demo data location as an FSC file. But I'm gonna go ahead and load this DXF file. And I'm gonna right click and do a zoom. And I can see we've got some holes and um, other kind of setup polylines in here. So what I'm going to, going to do is I'm going to, uh, and in this case, I want to create a, a surface, a top surface for here. So I'm going to not include the bottom of the hole and some of these other polylines. So I'm just going to select them by holding the shift key down and scrolling down through there. I'm just going to go ahead and delete them now. I'm going to take a look at the, and the bottom holes are gone, so that's pretty good. And now I'm simply going to, again, uh, select one and then hold the shift key down and do a multi-select, right click, and I'm going to create a surface. We're going to call it face one. Let's minimize uh, in, uh, interior and exterior triangles so that we don't... Um, get a lot of strange uh, extra long triangles on concave sections. Doesn't really apply to this data set. And now I'll just go ahead and load it. And then I will turn off all of my points. And you can see now we have our surface created uh, for this particular face. And, and if there were some things that we didn't want to have in here, so for example, uh, we could quickly use our editing tools. And so for some of these peaks, may not be exactly what we wanted. Let me turn off my arrows here. From the Quarryman DXF files. Um, you can quickly come in and edit out anything uh, that was a bad influence. And this may or may not be uh, appropriate uh, in this case. I don't really have that much knowledge about it, but you can see how quick and easy it is to sort of clean that stuff up. And when we could do th the same thing here if, if that was required. So that's how you bring in uh, Quarryman DXF um, skin data and create um, surfaces from that data.